Hi everyone, so today I'm here with you guys barefaced because I'm going to be doing a, another foundation and review for you guys and I'm really really excited about this one because it's going to be on the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation and Concealer Foundation so apparently this is super full coverage and I've seen so many YouTubers rave about it so I'm just super super excited about this one because not only it's so affordable but apparently it's really good so as well so I got the shade tan by the way and I live in the UK so I had I was struggling to um, buy it because there were no sellers selling it to be honest and a lot of you guys were requesting it, a review on this foundation but then I finally found it on eBay a seller was selling it so I'll leave a link from where I got it in the info box but if you live in the US it should be fairly easy to get your hands on this one. So I'm going to use my moisturiser and I'm going to be using my Moisture Nourish Plus Cream for Dry to Very Dry Skin by Garnier. I haven't used this in a while and this is a new tube so I'm quite happy about that. You guys know that I've been having like issues with my skin with heavy moisturisers so I've been kind of going away from it. I don't know, my skin has been really really acting up and I might be getting like better skincare products because I just feel like my skin needs... I don't know, that higher quality stuff, I don't know, I just feel like it's super weird, like my skin has never been this bad. You might not be able to see it in camera but I can see it really up because I've got like little spots everywhere, it's like super dry and I feel like it doesn't look, like if you want your makeup to look good you need to make sure that your skin is good naturally so using skincare products is really important. I actually have an exam tomorrow but I thought that if I have makeup on all day um, it will actually keep me awake and not tempt me to go to sleep because I'm like super tired. So if I have this makeup on hopefully I'll just stay up and just revise all day. So I got this for around £13 I would say on eBay and it says it's medium to full coverage it's lightweight, oil-free formula, long-wearing, water-resistant resist and sweat-proof. So the fact that it's oil-free, kind of like, I need to be more careful and make sure that I use a heavy moisturiser like I did right now because otherwise it's going to um, attach to my dry areas. And anyways, I'm going to try this. It actually comes with a pump, which is really, really good. I'm going to like put it on my hand. I'm so bad at this bit. It's actually really thick. Ooh. The shade looks alright, you know. Mmm, that looks really nice so far. The shade I would say is very oh crap, I put in my eye makeup. The shade I would say is quite similar to my um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's just this, it's just that tad bit dark, but not too much. Like you can barely tell. It's actually really crazy how like this foundation is amazing. The only thing is I hope it doesn't oxidize so it won't like, make me look darker. But it covers like my mouth area really nicely, it doesn't look grey or anything. Which that's always a plus for me. It's actually really nice to be honest. So I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to let you guys know what I feel about this foundation so far. So I just finished my makeup and I am super, super, super shocked about how this foundation looks right now. I mean, it is definitely medium to full coverage with one layer. Um, the lines changed because the sun has gone away, but you can tell that it made my skin look like as if it was like photoshopped or something. The sun's coming back now. So it definitely lives up to the fact that it is medium to full coverage. Um, lightweight, that's what I'm so shocked about. Even though it's full coverage, it feels like I don't have foundation on my skin right now. Um, sometimes I can feel the foundation on me and with this one I just feel f like I'm free, like I don't have makeup on. And it, the oil free formula, I mean it doesn't apply drying at all whatsoever on me, especially on my nose area. It's um, kind of applied really really smoothly. The only thing I would say is that I can kind of see it going into my smile lines, um, 
like over here which I absolutely hate but anyways but apart from that the foundation itself looks amazing flawless I mean for drugstore foundation it's crazy so I'm gonna wear this all day and I'm gonna be coming back and checking in with you guys but with the long wearing water resistant and sweat proof part I'll let you guys know if it does work um, because it's kind of hot today I get really sweaty like here like it's so annoying when it's really hot you always see me like dabbing my upper lip and um, so we'll see if it actually works if it is sweat proof and I'm absolutely happy with the shade of it for once I got the right shade and the good thing about this foundation is that there's a really really good color range for all skin tones I think there's even for like deeper skin tones which is always a plus and I really appreciate the fact that, that these drugstore brands can kind of concentrate on all skin tones and not only on pale ones because it's actually really frustrating and by the way if you guys are wondering I am wearing the 1995 liquid lipstick by Jarrah Cosmetics so yeah I think that's all I have to say for now and I'll be back later on it's actually currently 11 12 a.m so i'll probably be back later on in the afternoon or sometime or even maybe night at night time so we'll see so i'm now back to let you guys know what i think about the foundation and it's currently 7 55 in the evening so i've had this foundation on pretty much all day um i would say around eight hours and that's how long i keep my foundation on pretty much so yeah it's been a while looking at my face right now i would say that it's still flawless like the foundation stayed on pretty well but it does kind of look very oily oily or dewy and it's so weird because I would think that with this foundation I would get kind of dry and things like that but it actually doesn't feel dry whatsoever so I really think that this foundation would be good for all skin types so I would say it's definitely long wearing I'm not I'm not too sure about water resistant so I really don't know but sweat proof it has been pretty hot today and I did go pick up my brother when I walk fast I kind of get sweaty especially on my upper lip area and the f foundation is still there the only thing I would say would be the downside is, is that it did kind of sink into my smile line so I really don't know how this foundation would work on its own as a concealer so I pr might not actually use it as a concealer because it does kind of set into fine lines. Now another negative that I would say about this foundation is that it transfers very easily. I mean, if anything touches my face right now, it will transfer a, a lot. I don't really have this problem with my other foundations, to be honest, but with this one, it's like crazy. I found foundation on my nails, on my phone, and like on my fingers and then when I go touch my paper when I was revising there's like foundation everywhere so I will definitely say to set your found well this foundation with a powder and I feel like it would look amazing now even though that's a downside I think is I just need to set it with powder so next time I do wear this foundation I'm just gonna quickly dust my face with some powder so that's why I really think this foundation will be great for all skin types I don't find it drying at all it literally stayed on pretty well all day it made my skin look so so smooth and it's been pretty hot today and it stayed on really really well like in this area right here I'm very oily it's so weird I mean I, I, I don't mind but just in case you are oily I would maybe set this foundation with a powder definitely so yeah I would only say that the cons would be that it's very it's easy to transfer so definitely set it with a powder which is not as much as a con as you think it would be but just make sure that you set it with a powder if you do have it. Another con would be that it kind of sets into fine lines, like uh, for example my smile lines. So I really don't know how it would be under your eyes alone because I did apply my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer for my concealer today just to brighten up my under eye. And yeah, that's all the cons I have for this foundation to be honest. I'm really, really, really happy with it and the cons that I have with this foundation are not like negatives that you can't work with and I would definitely say that the positives are that it's very long wearing super medium full coverage which I love it doesn't feel heavy it feels really lightweight on the skin um, and I, I just really like how it looks overall and the shade is just perfect and I can't I, I'm actually really really happy about this foundation and I can't forget to say that it is affordable and it comes in many many shades so this foundation is definitely one to try. I am absolutely in love with it and I'm really, really happy that I got it. Just before I go, I'm just gonna quickly do a quick close up for you guys. And as you can see, it stayed on pretty well, but I am kind of oily, I would say here. And you can see that it's in my smile lines a bit as well. 
but it has it doesn't apply great at all around my mouth area it just looks so good like and it made my skin look glowy which is kind of surprising for a full coverage foundation so yeah that's all I have to say about this foundation I'm super super happy about it and I really really love it so far and I definitely know that I will be using it a lot and I might actually get one for my sister and my mom actually because it's actually really really good so. so yeah that's all I have to say thank you so much for watching this video please let me know what other foundations you would like me to try and I really hope that you enjoyed this video it was very very requested by some of you so I hope you found this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful and also subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos from me and yeah I love you guys all so much and until next time I will see you then